If you woke up tomorrow morning a billionaire, what's the most extravagantly lavish thing you'd waste some money on? I'd have some really big statues of my mates commissioned and have them put in their gardens in the middle of the night to make them look like the kind of assholes that have statues of themselves. Bonus points if the statues have tiny dicks. Get my check engine light looked at. AutoZone will let you use their code reader for free. I'd like to buy a large piece of land and all the dirt I could and be the new owner of the tallest hill in Denmark. Current tallest point in Denmark is 171 meters. I'd say making a 200 meter tall naturally looking hill shouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for a bored billionaire. And I thought the Netherlands was flat. I think Holland or Chiston is flatter, they just have a few solid hills to show off with. Denmark is pretty hilly, but all the hills are rubbish. Denmark is pretty hilly, but all the hills are rubbish. When I worked as a train assistant in Norway I had the absolute delight of being in the carriage as a Danish couple started their journey from Bergen to Oslo. They seemed like a very happy couple, like in their 40s, maybe 50s, as they sat down and looked at the mountain they were silent for a bit then the wife turned to the man and went Jan, you still think you can just build a ducking mountain on our farm? Silence. Reckon I need a bigger truck than I thought. I couldn't keep a straight face for the life of me. I'd go to generic restaurants, give my waiter slash waitress $100 to send a glass of milk with ice in it to a specific table. The $100 would be to keep quiet about who sent the milk. I would do this several more times to the same table until they got visibly upset. No waiter in the world would stop sending ice milks, especially after I raised the offer to $500. If I were a waiter I would gladly keep putting glasses of milk with ice in on someone's table, even if they were screaming in my face, if I made 500 bucks each time. So yeah, I would do ice milk, instant classic. Edit, please stop sending me gold. Why ice milk? Edit, yeah no, I stepped away for a bit, and couldn't stop laughing at imagining these poor people at a table crying to make the ice milk deliverer stop. Pleading with the server, showing they have kids, and it needs to stop. All while the server has a smile on their face, slowly filling the table with ice milks. I would buy a retired missile silo, pimp it out, then have the hottest underground club around. That's my retirement plan. I would hire the best full time live in chef money could buy. This is absolutely the first luxury I would get. Delicious home cooked meals. Not having to decide what to feed my picky toddler. Not having to do the dishes. Sounds like heaven to me. Buy all the houses in my street and demolish them. Then dig underground. Until I have a track sized underground space. Build an inconspicuous mansion over the underground track. Invite people to my underground track. And hold car races. Real life need for speed underground. That is awesome. This guy has my vote to be a billionaire. I will do it like how the Chinese emperor did for so long. A small walled city where the only residents are members of my harem who are assisted by dudes who cut off their dick for money. Just become the majority shareholder of Huff P.O. I'd build a bowling alley, then hire Basimi and Goodman to reprise their roles as Donnie and Walter and hang out at least 8 hours a day. This should be higher. That's some sordid level rich behavior. D. I'd pay off my student loans in one go quite extravagant, if you ask me. What will you do with the $15 you have left over? Penthouse apartment, 432 Park Avenue. New York City. It's not that I don't have taste, it's that I want it so badly. Edit, just got out of my morning economics lecture, to see this go crazy. I would have some badass parties and family gatherings there. I had to google that. Holy shit. I'd actually buy popcorn when I go to a theater. Edit. Thank you for the gold I saw it first thing in the morning and teared a lil. I think you're vastly overestimating what you can buy with a billion dollars. Tone it down, Mr. Kongi. Remember that billionaire genius guy from Ex Machina? Yeah that would be me minus the genius part I'll buy thousand of acres of forest. 
get the best internet possible and maybe some security on the perimeter so no one will bother me. Also dogs, like at least 5 dogs. How many sex bots were you thinking? Will you splurge on the one really high end one that can dance with you? A full on workshop with a wooden blacksmith shop and one. Edit, there are many worried about my safety. I already have the property picked out I have been watching it for several years. It is 20 acres in a town just south of me with an old pallet factory on it. There is plenty of space for safety precautions and space for tools so many tools. My dad would be all up in your business asking about your 14 different saws. A house with one of those ridiculously large pools with like a waterfall and a slide and multiple jacuzzis. And I want wall 2 wall aquariums in my house. And I'd be one of those people who builds a mansion for their dog in the backyard. The dog can have its own pool and water slide. No jacuzzi for the dog. Penny pincher. Custom tailored clothes. Not just suits and dresses. I want my shirts and jeans to be tailored to fit me. Ed spent half of it on a divorce. Edit wow. My half cocked comment on a 3 hour old post seems to have exploded. For relevant information to all the people suggesting Hitman, I love my wife you cooks. It just turned out that, since I don't believe anymore in the church, that a marriage is probably not something I should have done. If I have everything losing half of it would feel like nothing, but since I have nothing losing half of it would feel like everything. I'd buy a helicopter. A big one, painted up all flashy. Then at about 4.15pm the next day I'd have that duck land in the parking lot of work to pick me up. That's how I'd retire. Make it look like a govd hello, get a bunch of dudes in suits and glasses to get out, and ask for you, saying they need your help, national emergency and only you can help. Go in the next day, and explain that for classified reasons, you will need to end your employment there. I'd make a whole floor in my house a shower. Dude seriously the only goal I have in life is to have the perfect shower that I designed myself. With seats like a sauna, heated floors, sealed indoors, so there's no cold spots, iPod control TV slash music, gas lamps. In-app purchases in mobile games. You won't have enough. I would never wear the same pair of socks twice. Few things are better than that feeling of putting on a new pair of socks for the first time. I'm a boring, content person. I have considered doing this, there's a store in the UK, called Primark that sells 5 pairs of socks for 2. They're reasonable quality for what you pay, but feel really good the first time you put them on. A week of socks is 2.80. A month is 12.00. A year is 150. That's less than I spend on my phone all for that new sock feeling. I'm living with negative money, so I'm not going to do it, but I've definitely thought about it. I would buy a copy of Winra. My fiance bought Winra, because she felt bad that nobody ever buys it. Lmao. That's why she will marry you. Godem. Even Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire, toiling for eons at his volcanic forge, felt that burn. A chef and a cleaner. A cleaner, a gardener, a handyman. High grade saffron? In a bag, possessed by a genie. I would come on Reddit, and look for a thread like this, pick a top comment, and make it come true. I would, somehow, find a way to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on pizza. You can never go wrong with pizza. I'd have an authentic Chicago deep dish delivered in a warming bag via drone to my house daily. You're thinking too small. I'd have Chicago delivered via drone to my house. He wants pizza, not to get murdered. I really need new clothes. That's extravagant to me ha ha ha. Imagine walking around and buying everything you liked. But I'd probably go hire a ton of people to finish my house renovations. A family member and her husband had a really hard time. They were always running it close on their bills, a lot of the time behind. They ended up with coming into some money, all she wanted was new jeans. She hadn't had any since high school. Made me sad. I'd buy a well-bred grey racehorse and name him Bender B. Rodriguez. I've thought about this for a long time and it's exactly 18 characters which is the limit set by the jockey club for naming a horse. 
I would enter Bender in a race and get joy out of hearing his name in the valley and hopefully standing in the winner's circle with him. Buy a dozen horses, name them all Bender, and enter them in the race that way you guarantee a win every time. Bender A. Rodriguez through the turn. Bender H. Rodriguez closing the gap followed closely by Bender F. Rodriguez. Bender C. Rodriguez out of nowhere. Bender C. Rodriguez. Bender C. Rodriguez. Bender C. Rodriguez. This announcer would hate his life. A politician. Duck that. Politicians are cheap. I'd buy all the politicians. I would build an ice coffee shop in my small town of 600 people. Hire local workers, pay them 5 times the standard. Wouldn't charge people money, just ask for donations. Just to improve the mood of the town, and as an experiment to the kindness of people. Hire local workers, pay them 5 times the standard. Wouldn't charge people money, thus creating a bidding war locally, and forcing up the prices in other shops until no one can afford to shop there and everywhere goes out of business. Good way to ruin the local economy. A Warhammer 40k army painted by professionals. HMM. Still not sure many billions of dollars would be enough. A diamond crusted chastity belt to guard my seed from gold diggers. A vasectomy so they can try to take it all they want. My dream is to buy a plot of open land and dig a deep enough hole that I can put a three story doomsday house in there. Very bottom floor would be a furnace laundry room. It would have three powerful backup generators in case of disaster. In the middle of the bottom floor would be a giant fridge that is self-cooled mostly by the earth. Second floor would be the living area and top floor would hold at least eight of my dream cars. The house that I have designed would be earthquake proof, fireproof and flood proof. I'd cover it with dirt and place a facade house on top and work it into a super air filter. Around the property would be solar power and windmills to generate electricity. And on top of it all the highest quality security system I can get my hands on. I just woke up to this holy shit I didn't think this would get so many upvotes thank you. Can you give me the hypothetical coordinates of such a house and what password I need to enter? You know. For the sake of the story. 33, 21 feet 26.82 S 121, 31 feet 50.60 E. Password, V75 u 9 l I'd buy my local football club Belasica. The stadium is okay, but I will make it world class, although still small 14, 15k capacity maximum. We are a 35k town, with the surrounding area 100k tops. The stadium now has around 9k capacity and 4 stands, but they are not connected. I will connect them, and install a retractable roof, under soil heating, new toilets, new changing rooms, Imrepo the VIP section etc etc, whatever makes the stadium world class. On one side of the stadium there's a park which is beautiful, but the other side is a waste. So I will invest in a state of the art football complex on the other side with a 5 star hotel. I will take the best available coaches and start investing heavily in the youth program. I will have the best available scouts and scout the whole region Balkans and get the best of the best kids to train in my team. There is fierce competition in the region, but my aim would be to compete with the likes of Partizan, Red Star, Dinamo Zagreb, Olympiakos, Peo etc etc for having the best youth school in the region. I think I will be able to achieve that in 10 to 15 years of time. Belasica is nowhere near in terms of reputation to those clubs at the moment, but I think I can reach their level in a decade or two. I don't know football but this is so wholesome. I'd buy myself an emerald, an Arabian horse, a mansion with a bookcase that opens into a secret room, and a long leisurely trip around the world. I have plans for my duck you I'm rich house. It would cost around 16 million for the land. Construction crew labor cost, materials, architectural time and local application processes. It's got the works, designer interior, shitloads of glass, pools and doors, outdoors, between doors, gym, underground bowling alley, gaming room with 6 PCs for LAN, one of each console, beds that retract into the floor in the daytime, automatic blinds, etc. A house, repurposed from its original use may be a barn. K 
keep the regular red paint job to it and all. Put in a loft bedroom with built-in furniture and room for posters and maps and art. Right under my room would be a massive kitchen with a double oven, a gas stove, counter space galore blue granite, a rolling island in the middle of it with a rack for all my pans hanging from the ceiling above its usual space. There would be a huge fridge and a working dishwasher one that wouldn't break in the first 3 months of use, actually cleans the food off the dishes, and a pantry, in addition to the cabinets that are everywhere. It would have a breakfast bar between the living room and kitchen on the left, seating enough for 6 people, and on the right, a black granite bar, fully stocked. Further to the left, I'd have an actual breakfast nook, settled right up between some bookshelves in front of a window, and a bit farther down from that, a fireplace mantle and all with a plush rug in front of it, and the comfiest couches and recliners too, that I could find. The right side with the bar, would have dim lighting compared to the left bright, open and airy, a pool table and artboard with enough space between them, that no one's going to get in another person's way while they play. There'll be at least one or two tables nestled against the wall here too. Three chairs per table with dark green upholstery, soft like memory foam, but doesn't keep the, but print when you stand up. And once I have all that, get myself some pro cooking lessons, so I can put the kitchen through its paces, and practice making drinks for my friends at my personal bar. You've already given this a lot of thought. Good for you. Hope you get those billions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more curated daily reddit stories.